All right, well, hey everybody, it's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today, what we're gonna be talking about really quickly is what I refer to as the troll doll wicking technique. It's my favorite and most efficient way to wick RTAs. The troll doll technique only works with RTAs with two-piece chimneys, meaning you have a piece that kind of comes down like this. I first discovered this technique when I was using the Goblin Mini, the Goblin Mini version two. This is the Billow version 2.5. And if I could get this to thread down on there, it works perfect, perfect with the troll doll technique. There's a couple of sense RTAs where the troll doll technique will work as well. So first thing you have to do is take this part off. Remember, your tank has to have a two-part chimney two part chimneys, you need this little ring for the troll doll technique to work. But you've got your build on there, it's glowing nice and evenly. We're gonna cut off some cotton. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna be using some Dude Wick Premium Japanese cotton that I got from Mr. Squid Dude. What you wanna do is just cut a strip off of it. Now I know when I built these coils, they were around 2.5 millimeter coils, so I can kind of guess as to how much wick I need to cut off, but if you're unsure, what you can do is just kind of eyeball it. I put the edge of my wick right there, and I look, okay, that strip would go perfectly through the middle, so I'm gonna go about double that because I'm going to be rolling it up. That's about the size I'm going to be using for this coil. Now there's a step in here that you don't have to do, but I I like to do is peel off one side of the cotton. Make sure you keep all the fluffy bits in the middle, but there's one side. And not all cotton does this, but the Squid Dude cotton does do this. There's one side. Do you see this right here? You want to keep all the fluffy bits in the middle and kind of just get this part off. And you have to work your fingers down. Keep the fluffy bits in the middle, get that side off. So all you're left with is fluffy bits and then you roll it so that the fluffy bits are on the outside of the of the of the wick. Pinch really tightly and get those ends to be nice and pointy. They're going to be perfect for going through that coil. And once I do that, I kind of just cut it right down the middle. And then you're gonna take those wicks and feed them through your coils. Don't cut them at all at this point, just get them nice and centered on there so there's the right, the same amount of cotton on both sides of your coil. So now that we got them both wicked, you see this end is the pinched end and this end is the pinched end. And what you can do is take a pair of tweezers or a thumbtack or something and kind of just re-fluff those up. Make sure it's not so, you know, pinched looking. You wanna, you wanna kinda fluff those wick ends up. Just fluff them up a little bit. And then you take all of your wicks and kind of grab them like this. Hence the, the troll doll technique because when you pull these all up, it kind of looks like those old school troll dolls of which there's a new movie of that I will never see. But when you fluff them all up, yeah, they kind of stick straight up in the air and look like a troll doll. Then you get this. In this case, I have one threaded side, but sometimes these two-part chimneys have two threaded sides, but make sure, obviously, that your threaded side goes down. And what you're gonna do is feed all of these wicks through that, right? And then you can just screw this down like normal. And once you get to this stage, this is the point where you're going to have to kind of fiddle around. On some RTAs, you cut it flush with the two-part chimney, and some RTAs, you don't cut it at all, and some RTAs, you leave them just a little bit shorter, a little bit taller. I know that on this RTA, I have to cut the wicks just a little bit. I'm just gonna trim off the very top. Then what I do is I grab a very small screwdriver and I start investigating in here. So I can kind of see right now, there's my coil right there. And then there's a wick on either side. So that means that on the other side, boom, there's my coil right there. And there's a wick on either side. And then I grab my very tiny screwdriver and I just take my wicks and I kind of fold them over and I just stuff them down. I go around every coil and every wick and just stuff them down in there. Just stuff them down in there. So that when you're all done, you have something that looks like that. And they don't have to be 
you know, perfect. They don't have to be stuffed perfectly down into those little juice flow holes. All they need to be do is packed. All they need to be do what? All they need to do is be packed down in there and resting on top of those juice flow channels in there. What's gonna happen is every time you take a drag, it's going to do the tide pool effect. It's gonna push some juice up there and get your wicks wet, and then it's gonna come back out when you exhale. Then when you drag in, it's gonna pull some more juice up there and get your wicks wet. I have had the most success ever with RTAs using this technique. I love it when RTAs have two-part chimneys so that this technique is possible. I get nothing but really good flavor, really moist, saturated, saturated wicks. Then what you're going to want to do is just put some juice on them. So yeah, just get in there with some juice, uh, prime the coils, get the cotton all wet like you would, and maybe a dripping atomizer or an RDA. And as long as when you press the button, vapors happen, you are all good to go. All you have to do now is assemble the rest of your tank, which will be different depending on which tank you have. But yeah, that is my troll doll technique. It has not let me down ever, ever, ever. I love it when RTAs have two-piece chimneys, this little ring right here, and you can pack the cotton down in there. It always wicks, pardon me, it always wicks. I always get nice wicking, nice flavor, no flooding, no gurgling, no nothing. Uh, it works really well. So give it a shot. Your mileage may vary depending on the diameter of your coils. For most RTAs, even in this deck, I generally only do around two millimeter to 2.5 millimeter. Um, more than that, and you're packing kind of more cotton in there than you need to. But if you have this framework, you will have much success. All you have to do is maybe fiddle around a little bit. Find out what coil diameter works best for you. Find out how much cotton works for you. But this technique, in my opinion, is pretty bulletproof and uh, it works. It just works really well. But uh, that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, we'll get back out to normal view and uh, I don't know. I'll just show you some quick uh, clouds bro clouds.